Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I'm OP and in today's episode we'll be going over some of the best highlights from today's LCK 2024 Spring Split matchup. Without further ado, let's dive straight into the action. And we're seeing as well, and this is uh, something that I think Lucid has really struggled with, we talked about a lot, is the extra level of scrutiny that you're going to be under. As oh, that, was a, that was a dangerous one there from Faker, but uh, Owner is going to be here, Killer Instinct. Gonna be thrown out, and that is Owner just picking up the kill. Good bait to come through there, and Showmaker really wanted it. And the kill else that maybe that works, but not the first time we've seen Lucid not be on the same page of the rest of his team as Kalin. Yeah, can he find the Bone Skewer is the question. He decides instead to throw Showmaker back. The arrow is gonna be picked up, and there is the kill. Owner comes on in and takes down the Akali, but Faker does burn down as well, so D plus are on the board, but I think that T1 are on the board once again, unless Kellen can get himself out, and it looks like he should be able to do so. Gives him are really finding the most of the benefit. He's aiming down to 50%. This could be diveable. They have Fate's Call, remember. So just waiting. Oh, got to hit that one. Not going to be the case, and uh, no real opportunity is aiming! Just dead. Okay. Well. There's still some opportunities for DK. I don't think this one is uh, is done just yet. Oh, Carrier could be in a lot of trouble here. Another ult does go basically nowhere. The arrow is going to fly through, though, as Lucid gets himself a permafrost, but he's still tanking the turret. Baker is going to be taken down first, though, and Lucid, another couple of those need to be there, but the volley is blocked. And now Showmaker looks for it, doesn't find the backflip shuriken, and Carrier will stay alive. Kellen, not so lucky. Even in that one, I guess, as uh, we go back to the previous one, and they are, they are lucky that they're even able to get the kill with the Ignite there, right? Because it would have been a worst case scenario if yeah. another kill goes over. And I really have to command E. This play is just a, a rousing success as, oh, Kellen. Yeah, Kellen is very dead. Um, we could probably surmise what happened there. Kellen was trying to do vision thing. Out very safely. Dragon is about to come up here and DK really were looking for this trap. Yeah, Arrow is going dead. to snag Kellen there and he's just dead. Just no chance. And he almost got himself out of the way, but Janet Chris Lyra hitbox has been a thing. Targets on the enemy team. If you can get past the front line, uh, aiming, oh, oh. gonna have to flash and does also have to cleanse because the arrow still clips him. And Kellen now going to be at the mercy of Carrier as well. Grimyushi catches up to, oh my goodness, just Pierce Ren and he's dead. And uh, yeah, Carrier will now shut them out of their own night here. Wow. That is, uh, he, yeah, I mean, they're. You're a fat Kalista. Uh, the enemy tank is not in the best of places at the moment. And also, uh, like, their engage is the yeah. Glacial Prison. It is. And you just avoid that as Empress of Fight is going to throw Lucid underneath this turret. Carrier just free firing, but they do manage to take down Faker. And there's the double for Carrier as well. Zayus now looking for this. Does That's find the third Q. And aiming. Going to miss another ultimate. It is. And Zayas is running real quickly. It's a 1v2! It is. It is. Um, and Aiming's now melee range with a with a Kassante. And now he's dead. Uh, Kingen is now mini Nar as well. Able to get out of the way of a few of these Qs, though. And Zayas is going to get flashed on. There it is. The boomerang to the back of the head. That was very close to a 2 for now. Well, as the fate score, but I don't think that alone would be enough to dissuade T1. They do still have uh, a lot of the other team fight ultimates available. Oh, Arrow going to connect once again. It's Faker just scoops in the Pike, who's dead mid push over the wall. Kingen has Maganar, like it's now or never for DK, but. Oh no, Lucid has to Arctic Assault himself out of this. There's going to be no smite in the pit, and Kingen's Maganar is running out. You can see low health bar here onto Ona, but it's still just ticking down, and Carrier is just pushing the jungler away. He's going to solo him. And now Steadfast Presence means you're not making it out of this one. Zay is going to pull the Nara around. And Showmaker, can you be the hero, is the question. Looking to get over the wall, but he's not going to get there. Owner just being poppy and avoiding death as Carrier says he's the AD carry now. As he takes down aiming another solo kill. He's 7-0-5. Because he's just taking poke damage here from Faker. The flash in. Faker, Empress Divide, on to three. And he's going to be absolutely fine. Ona finds a double knock up. The arrow sails by majestically. And Kellen is off on the side. He's not going to be able to stop this Nexus turret from going down. And not going to be able to do anything about this Nexus that's also about to explode. Aiming, going to die once again. And T1 will celebrate just before they finish the task. And that one did not quite work out. There for D+. 
These were some of the best highlights from today's LCK 2024 Spring Split matchup. Which moment was your favorite? Let me know in the comment section below. This is OP, and I'll see you tomorrow. Take care.